all the sorrows of life that come to us all our heartbreaking all our greediness all our struggle all our grabbing here and there is only we don't understand what life is all about what is life what is this life a young man was living in a city a day came that he received phone call from village that his mo his father is dead it's okay put him in mortuary i will come back they helped him to deposit the body of his father in mortuary and after many days he decided to travel to village getting to that place as he entered mortuary he saw inscription that is a welcome address of that mortuary and the welcome address said we were like you before but now we are here look at that word very well we were like you before but now we are here and that word did not touch him much after seeing the dead body of his father as he wanted to go home he saw the farewell address in the same mortuary because the mortuary had welcome address and farewell address that is to tell you it's another state entirely it's another country entirely of his own when will you return that was the farewell address and this young man went home he opened the drawer of his father he saw bundles of dollar wrap of dollar inside that drawer he looked at that dollar he remembered the word the welcome address in the mortuary we were once like you but now we are here and he also remembered the farewell address when will you return and when you look at that dollar the dollar makes no sense to him anymore this question today many people are being carried away with the things that make no sense many people are deceived by things that make no meaning things that make no sense if you go to mortuary you will see a lot of millionaires a lot of billionaires if you go to mortuary you will see a lot of landlords you will see a lot of landladies you will see many governors and presidents in mortuary and all these ones their title has ended you know that a man can be a professor but immediately he died his certificate died together with him all his investment nobody remember him anymore what is life that is the reason a brother called david pray one prayer in a book of psalm psalm 39 verse 4 psalm 39 from verse 4 to 5 psalm 39 from verse 4 to 5 david prayed and said lord make me to know the number of my days upon the earth so that i will know i am a passing shadow so that i will know how to apply my heart unto wisdom i will know that i'm a passing shadow and in the book of psalm psalm chapter 90 verse 12 david also prayed the same prayer again lord teach us to know the number of our days so that we can apply our heart unto wisdom because david understood what life was all about or is all about david gave much all the all the things that solomon used to build temple david was the one that provided it with other elders of israel and then he said that out, out of all the abundance you gave me i have given you this because he understand a man like david prayed and said oh lord make me to number my days upon the earth so that all the things i have will no longer enter my head look at your neighbor by your side there was not your neighbor by your side before he was a landlord or importer he was one thing or the other but today is he there is no more look at your parents where are your parents many of them many of us right now your mother your father is no longer alive they are dead look at your friends look at many people you know look at the governor of different states and presidents of different nations that we know they are no more 
That is to tell us about life. God called, called Adam. God called Adam and said to Adam, 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 where are you? And Adam could not be able to answer that question very well. Adam, where are you? Because the Lord is calling you and I today, where are you? God wants us to know where we are so that we could not be chasing after shadow. We will not be chasing after these things that cannot last. We will not be chasing after material things. We will not be chasing after those things. I know that those things make life comfortable. The Lord shall supply all our needs in the name of Jesus Christ. But we must understand it. I said that any man that living without have visited mortuary is incomplete human being. You know, when a sister is living her life and that sister never one day visited mortuary, the sister will be deceived by her shape and by her stature, by her height, by her outlook, by everything. But when she visits mortuary, she will understand that life is nothing. She will also see many sisters in mortuary who, in fact, that are more prettier, more beautiful than her. Yes, you must understand about life. What is life? Do you understand that the meaning of life? Somebody, you see somebody today and tomorrow the person is gone. You see somebody today, tomorrow the person is gone. You visit somebody today, you eat with that person today, after tomorrow the person is gone. What is life? The Lord wants you to understand what life is all about so that you will prepare your life after death. God wants us to prepare our life after death. Whether you have money now, don't allow the money you have to control you. Remember that those money you have are nonsense. It, they cannot help you. Because even when you die, another person will spend the whole money. Even though you are poor, don't allow your poverty to deceive you. Because even your poverty, when you are dying, you will not die with your you will not die together with your poverty. Or you will die together with your wealth. Or maybe say because you are poor, when you die, you will remain poor. That's right. No. Poverty, your poverty cannot count over there. Even your wealth cannot count over there. Don't allow those things to deceive you. Don't allow your poverty to make you not to look for life after death. Don't allow your money, your prosperity to deny you the salvation Jesus provided. We understand that one day, one day, you and I will be a history. You understand that one day you that is watching this message will be a history. People will be giving, using you as a history. Do you remember that mom at that time? you remember that sister that time? I don't know that brother. you remember that daddy that time? That is fat, that is slain, that is tall, that is short. You become a history. Somebody will be saying, oh, who is that? Okay, I can remember that time he was alive. You have become a history. And that is why God is calling you and God is calling me. God is calling every one of us right now that we will understand what life is all about. That man lives today, tomorrow he dies. Nothing in life is permanent. Our days upon the earth are numbered. That is why David the pray, teach me to know the numbers of my days upon the earth. Our days upon the earth are numbered. Let us try to be wise. Let's try to look for God. Let's try to understand what life is all about so that we will be delivered from sorrows and miseries of life so that we will be saved on the last day. May the blessings of God rest upon you. Follow me on my Facebook page. The blessings of God rest upon you. See you next time and bye for now.